I think it's time. Yes, it's time to bring, to bring, to bring history back to life. Cool, it's amazing. Dream Cats TV. <laughs> Oh, YouTube, you must elegant to this adventurous. I'm back. Uh, basically, uh, recently I went to watch the uh, amazing film The War Horse. Uh, there definitely seems to be a strong, nostalgic theme running through many of the movies and television shows at the moment. The past is now fashionable once again. Um, even Steven Spielberg's movie, The War Horse, takes us back in time. It follows the gripping life story of a horse that starts out in a uh, picturesque part of pre-war England, only to be thrust into the apocalyptic doom and gloom of World War I. It is definitely a cinematic masterpiece, albeit hugely sentimental and fairy tale like but I enjoy watching it. What I admire about it is that it highlights the plight of horses in World War I that very few people know about. About one million horses died on the British side, so they say. So you can imagine how many died from other countries. Well, let's take a look at the real war horse story. There's no better way to find out what actually happened by seeing items checking out items that were actually issued during World War I. Cigarette cards were hugely popular during that period when most other types of media were in their infancy. I mean, check out the cinema. It was little more than a fairground attraction next to the fortune teller's tent in those days. Uh, anyway, cards like these were issued on many subjects that reflected the interests and preoccupations of the public, of ordinary people that is, and unwittingly provides us with one of the finest records of early 20th century popular culture and uh, fashion trends in the world. As you can imagine, military related cards were perhaps the most collected uh, during the war years. Just think, World War I soldiers probably pulled these very same cards out from their ration packs 90 odd years ago. Perhaps they sent them back home in their uh, parcels to their loved ones. How cool is that, eh? World War I was said at the time to be the war to end all wars. The huge death toll was due to the fact that the colossal advances in firepower were not matched by corresponding advances in mobility. Um, despite the uh, fact that the motor car had been invented in the late 19th century, motor trucks were not really up to the job of manoeuvring through mud swamps and traversing over trenches. And in fact, in those days, um, they still used steam engines, traction engines. And the military tanks didn't appear on the battlefield towards, till to, towards the end of the war. That's why horses still played a vital role in the war, despite the fact that they were extremely vulnerable to machine gun fire. Uh, gas and uh, poisonous gas and gas uh, and shell explosions. Germany and Britain even crazily uh, employed the services of cavalry regiments at the start of the war. I mean, what chance? <laughs> what chance had the horses against machine gun fire and uh, devastating blows of shells? But, of course, they soon changed their minds when they were absolutely slaughtered and had to face the realities of trench warfare. Oh, yeah, just before I go, I want to show you this card here. Hang on a minute. From uh, this set of Wills military motors that was issued in 1916. And it's even got the date because it's got passed for publication by the Press Bureau. 
See, they had to make sure that um, they weren't giving away giving away any top secret information. And here is a motor horse ambulance. How cool is that, eh? And the great thing about cars like these is they're like miniature books. They've got uh, text on the backs. I'm not sure whether you can see that. I hope so. In France, during the early stages of the war, it was quickly recognised by the authorities that exceptional arrangements would have to be made to cope with the great mortality that was taking place amongst the wounded horses. Numbers of these comma, uh, cars were built at Luton and sent to France. In these, the wounded horses were quickly moved from the front to the veterinary hospitals at the rear, where the life of many a useful horse was saved by prompt attention. But of course, you have to take this with a little bit of pinch of uh, a pinch of salt, because don't forget, a lot of uh, the information that was given out that, that was available to the public was propaganda. Anyway, great set of cards, and uh, providing us with a glimpse of the real War Horse story. If you like World War One related collectibles, please don't forget to uh, check out all my other videos on my channel. And I've done uh, ones of miniature recruitment posters, uh, propaganda, and I've done detailed videos of all the card sets that you've seen in this particular video. And if you want to see lots more, please click on the subscribe icon. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to find out more about this particular item or other such items, please feel free to pop by my website at creamofcards.com.